Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Sorry it's been a while um, since I've been on. Um, I personally, um, and, in, and in all honesty, I haven't been able to jump on um, emotionally. I haven't been ready um, because of all the fires, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, I was actually able to craft for the first time over the weekend, um, you know, which in probably it's been over maybe a, a week and a half, two weeks since I've been able to actually create something. So um, I wanted to jump on and share with you guys some of the things that I was able to make um, last night and sort of the night before that so basically this weekend I was able to make some things and I'm really happy with how how these have turned out and I wanted to share them with you guys so um, I made another one of my like acetate pouches but I had some gorgeous like black and white um, acetate like with polka dots and it also has silver polka dots on the other side so it depends on which side you use it I'm pretty sure you're meant to use the silver um, foiled side but I wanted to use the black polka dot side and add um, bits of you know pink and silvers um, onto the project so I'll just show you what's inside so I've stitched that up and inside we just have a couple of memory decks but I'll just um I don't know if you guys can I might try and move some of these things so you can see this properly I thought it turned out really pretty be able to see it there now there we go and inside I've just got a couple of um, sort of simple memory decks that I made using the all heart collection and I think that's a dear Lizzie this this piece here and I just double um, like I, I die cut out two memory decks cards and I stick them together so it's it's more um, sturdy and even though that's this isn't my usual sort of memory decks that I would do usually I would do like a shaker memory decks or like a um, an acetate sort of or clear pocket type um, memory decks but these ones I thought I'd keep um, just you know just sort of simple on the paper She's got a little something on her cheek, a little bit of glue. There we go. So yeah, I thought that one turned out cute. And then this one um, as well, quite simple, but you know, I think sometimes simple um, can be absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how, how these turned out. I thought they turned out really cute. You know, you add a few little puffy stickers and some bling stickers and yeah, they can look really, really gorgeous. So there's that one. I thought that turned out really cute. Then I did a, just a, it's the same way um, that I make my acetate pouch. You do the same to make an acetate like um, pocket so instead of basically just flipping your top piece over so for example like this you just keep keep it up and it creates a um, like just a pouch some flat mail so I made this one with my pink acetate that I have again using all heart because I just can't seem to put this um, this collection down guys it's just so beautiful I'm absolutely obsessed with it and then I just added um, 
you know my black my black cross because this goes really well with the all heart collection collection as well um from the so the illustrated faith stickers it just reminds me of like 80s madonna so you know and everything to do with the 80s and 90s which is what the all heart collection um you know takes me back to so um and then i included a cute little like um pom-pom that has a little sparkly iridescent pieces through it it's really pretty and then I've just loaded it with um some like valentine's goodies so that's heading out to someone now I've got a cute little I think I got this from um Karina like with last year's Valentine's swap I did with Karina Westful and she sent me these cute little pink glittery um stirrers so I've added that into I thought it's really cute I just love all the bright the bright colors and then last night I made something that I absolutely love um I used to make these projects um, not just all heart. I also used Heidi Swap um, Color Fresh Ephemera. So I had a packet of that, you know, that I got before Christmas and I thought I would open it up and see what pieces were in it and it inspired me to basically create um, what I'm about to show you. And I also used these as well, which I found. I think these are from um, Chamel. I think it's called Sparkle City. And they're basically like your iridescent or holographic, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> um, foiled thickers. They're, but they've got pink around the edges. And you've got your cute silver stars as well. And I thought... This would go really perfect with the All Heart um, collection as well. So um, the first thing I made was this and I was so impressed. I basically laid out a whole heap of pieces and then I just started decorating them and I took my time in decorating them and then I kept adding bits and pieces to them until I, you know, I was absolutely satisfied with what I'd made and I thought this turned out like, so good I'm really happy with how it turned out so I basically used um, the all heart um, tag from the ephemera pack and I used the chipboard piece and then um, that girl power sort of iridescent um, piece there from the ephemera pack and I stuck that down and then after that this was from the Heidi Swap Color Fresh this little um, pink acetate and then this one was from the the thickers from um, is it Sparkle City by Chamel so and then I just added a couple of little bling stickers and a pom-pom and I thought it turned out absolutely beautiful so I thought those um, bits and pieces worked really well with with the all heart with you know the pops of sort of pink acetate and the iridescent it's just like really pretty um then I did then I got this one and I thought I haven't popped these onto like an album ring or anything because you could use these all um I basically started it off making them as like embellishments and then after that I went you know what I can actually put like whole punch all of these pieces and make it into a really gorgeous tag flip so I haven't punched the holes in just yet but I think I'm going to once I get my hole punch back. It's just I don't have it with me now because I packed it when I evacuated. Um, so it's actually, you know, um, six hours away <laughs> the other side of Melbourne and I packed quite a few of my craft supplies along with it. And, yeah, my hole punch was one of them. So I even was able to, you know, make a lot of these things with basically like, 
what limited sort of supplies I had left in my stash, which, you know, that I, I hadn't packed for the evacuation. So I thought that one turned out really cute using ticket pieces, again, like some chipboard stickers. I love this. It says babe, and that's from the, the Heidi Swap Color Fresh. It's like an acetate um, pink and red piece. And I just think it's really pretty. And I just layered everything up. Sorry, so I'm going to try and keep it the way I had it because I think it would make a really cute um, tag flip once I get my hole punch. So this one again was a tag and I just added a couple of the Heidi swap pieces and then propped up this um, all heart piece onto some foam tape just to give it a pop of colour. Um, I thought I'd include this um, frame on there and then I just glued another little pink sort of acetate heart onto there which came from the Heidi Swap Colour Fresh. I don't know if my camera's sort of, you know, focusing well guys, the lighting's sort of a bit, a bit funny. But we don't have any smoke here today which is great. So there's this piece. Um, once I get sort of more of my, I left a lot of my um, mini pom-poms um, back at my parents as well. So I'm going to actually add some little mini pom-poms onto this piece once I get them back. But <laughs> it won't be till, you know, later next week that, you know, I'll be getting most of my stuff back. Um, as you guys can probably tell, it's extremely quiet here. Um, I haven't had my kids with me for a week and a half now or Sunny. Sunny's not here. That's why you can't hear her squawking. And the house is just so quiet without them, guys. Like, you have no idea how quiet it is when you don't have, um, I don't know the word I'm trying to use, but Basically, um, it's, it's just really, really quiet here without them. Those are the sort of things, you know, you miss. This one, I actually stuck a, um, a frame on the back of um, one of the uh, ephemera pieces from All Heart because I loved that it was sort of like a vellum, black and white, almost sort of cheetah print. So this frame was from the, the Heidi Swap Colour Fresh um, ephemera pack and I thought that looked really cute like that. So I just stay, put a couple of staples in as well just for um, something a bit different. I think it gives it a fun, fun element to your paper crafting when you add a couple of staples. And then I just added some of the chipboard pieces and the um, silver, you know, hollow sort of star there from the thickest pack and I love all the colors I've been using I've been loving um, using like pink with black and white the here is some um, like an embellishment that I made and I stitched it up into the clear pocket I thought that turned out really cute as well. And then I just added like, you know, a fun sequin mix in there. I don't know if you guys can see, there's lots of cute little sort of like pink stars and you might be able to see some of my crosses in this. There's one there. My little pink um, cross uh, sequins. Sorry, I was having a moment then. <laughs> it always happens. I get on camera and I just forget the words of things that, you know, I know what they are. It's just as soon as I get on camera, it's like you get stage fright, basically. That's what that's what happens to me. It's like I can't talk. <laughs> um, and we've got this piece here. I just, again, I stapled a couple of ephemera pieces together and then just used some chipboard pieces to layer it up and some thickers. 
So, you know, it's quite, quite easy, easier to do. And I sort of found that I was struggling to get, you know, some inspiration. And so I just pulled out a packet of ephemera and laid it all out on my desk and then just started mixing bits and pieces together to create these pieces. And I think it's turned out like amazing. <laughs> It's probably going to be one of my favorite um, tag flips that I've made in a really long time, to be honest. Like, I absolutely love these pieces that I've made. Then I had this piece of um, vellum, which um, Lana sent to me. And I turned it into a little, like, bag. So I just stitched it with my, my sewing machine to create this cute little vellum sort of, like, pocket which I'll then be able to attach. So I thought that turned out quite cute as well. Sorry, my, um, I don't know what's going on with my camera today. It's sort of having trouble focusing. Um, then we have another um, embellishment piece that I stitched into a pocket. There's a little sequin mix in there as well. I packed a lot of my sequins as well. Like I would have liked to have popped like my black and white sort of striped sequins and things like that. But I ended up packing all those things. Like everything that was basically my favorite, I, um, I evacuated with. So I don't have those things with me. So um, I've just been, yeah, creating with what I had left here at home you know, so I'll get those things back soon. So that'll be nice. And then we've got this piece here. This is just from um, the All Heart Cut Aparts and I just thought I'd decorate it up a little bit because I thought it's already quite a busy sort of piece. So I sort of didn't want to add a whole heap to it. So I just added one of those gorgeous stickers. It says inspired. And then I added a couple of bling stickers and a chipboard piece. I thought it turned out really cute. And then lastly, we have this piece, which was um, again, I just had a whole heap of pieces on my desk and I just stuck them together and went, yep, that works. So, um, we've got a frame on there, a couple of cut parts. Then I just stuck, you know, chipboard, um, record there, the vinyl, and then a cassette tape on top. And then one of those cute iridescent sort of hollow stars. So I think this is going to make a really cute um, tag flip. So there we go. I just wanted to, sh to share that with you guys. And um, yeah, let I'll let you know that I'm all, like, we are all okay. Um, like I said, my kids haven't been with me for over a week, but we will get them back um, later next week, which will be nice, and the bird as well. And, um, yeah, for the moment, the, um, the fires aren't sort of, you know, um, near us at the moment. They've sort of, the firefighters have been working really hard to stop it from coming to our town and, and they have been great. So thank you to all the firefighters out there and the volunteers and even the international, um, help that we've had as well over here it's it's been um it's been wonderful and um yeah i hope everyone else is doing well and i hope you know this inspires you to to create um some pretty things as well so thanks for watching guys and i hope everyone has a wonderful week bye